Erzaghi's bearing capacity equation is one of the oldest bearing capacity equation used to find the bearing capacity of soil. It was derived by assuming a general shear failure of the soil under the action of an ultimate load per unit area. Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video we will learn that how to apply the Terzaghi's bearing capacity equation for to square footing. I have been given a question which states that a square footing shown in the figure below. We have to find the gross allowable load and the net allowable load that this footing can carry. We have to use the Terzaghi's equation for general shear failure using the factor of safety equal 3.5. And it is given that the unit weight of soil is 16 kN per meter cube. Saturated unit weight is 18.9 kN kilo, per meter cube. Uh, effective cohesion is 17 kPa. Angle of internal friction is 32 degrees. Depth of foundation is uh, 1.2 meter. And depth of water table uh, below the footing bottom is 0 0.5 meter. And the width or length, since this is a square footing, this is equal to 1.75 meter. Okay, so let us solve the question. First, uh, what is given in the question? Uh, unit weight of soil, this is equal to 16 kN per meter cube. Saturated unit weight, this is equal to 18.9 kN per meter cube. Depth of footing, this is equal to 1.2 meters surcharge uh, uh, this is equal to q into this is q is equal to gamma into df this is equal to 16 into 1.2 which is equal to 19.2 kilopascal width of footing this is equal to 1.75 meters depth of water table below the foot the bottom of the footing this is equal to 0 0.5 meter we can see that this uh, depth of uh, water table below the bottom of the footing, this is less than uh, width of the uh, footing. So average unit weight of the soil, this is given by the equation, uh, which is equal to gamma average is equal to 1 by B into gamma D plus gamma dash B minus D. Gamma dash is the submerged unit weight. Putting values, so this will be equal to 1 divided by 1.75 into 16 into 0 0.5 plus 18.9 minus 9.81 into 1.75 minus 0 0.5. This will be equal to 11.06 kN per meter cube. This is the value of average unit weight of soil which we, uh, we will use in the third term of the Terzaghi's bearing capacity equation. Okay. Also, for friction angle, effective friction angle equal 32 degrees. Bearing capacity factors, that is NC, this is equal 44.04. NQ, this is 28.52. And N gamma, this is 26.87. Terzaghi's ultimate bearing capacity for square footing is given as QU is equal to 1.3 C prime multiplied by nc plus q multiplied by nq plus 0 0.4 multiplied by gamma average multiplied by b multiplied by n gamma we are using the average unit weight of soil in this third term uh, of the terzaghi's bearing capacity equation since this is a special case when the depth of uh, water table below the bottom of the footing this is less or less than or equal to width of the footing here it is less than so putting values this will be equal to 1.3 times 17 multiplied by 44.04 plus 19.2 into 28.52 plus 0 0.4 multiplied by 11.06 multiplied by 1.75 multiplied by 26.87 this is equal to 1728.9 kilopascal this is the value of ultimate bearing capacity now net ultimate bearing capacity this is equal to ultimate bearing capacity minus the surcharge so it will be 1728.9 minus 19.2 which is equal to 1709.7 kilopascal 
after getting the value of ultimate bearing capacity and net ultimate bearing capacity now we will find the loads so ultimate load this is simply equal to ultimate bearing capacity multiplied by the cross section area of the footing so it will be qu multiplied by b square this is equal to 1728.9 multiplied by 1.75 square which is equal to 5294.8 kN. This is the value of ultimate load. Gross uh, allowable load, this is equal to ultimate load divided by factor of safety. So it will be equal to 5294.8 divided by 3.5, which is equal to 1513 kN. This is the value of gross allowable load. Similarly, net ultimate load, this is equal to net ultimate bearing capacity multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the footing so this will be equal to 1709.7 multiplied by 1.75 square this is equal to 5235.96 kN net allowable load this is equal to net ultimate uh, load divided by the factor of safety so this will be equal to 5235.96 divided by 3.5 which is equal to 1496 kN. So this is how you can find the uh, net allowable load as well as the gross allowable load for square footing. This video showed you how to find the gross and the net allowable load for square footing under the special case when the water table is below the footing bottom. I hope you guys learned something new from this video and if you found this video helpful uh, please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.